Welcome back. This is Excel Video 471, and I'm Nate Moore. Talked to a group today that said, hey, Nate, can you help us manage our schedule better? We've got these anomalies in the schedule, the docs with early starts and not taking lunch or whatever. Can you gather that information and tell our clinical folks so they can plan ahead? The answer is absolutely, and I'd love to do the same for your practice when you're ready. I want to play with something different today. I've got a little chart here that's got asthma, diabetes, and hypertension. I'm looking at new patients or whatever. And let's say I want to change the order of my asthma, diabetes, and hypertension. It's in alphabetical order now. What if I want to change that? Two ideas. First idea is, if I let's just grab a copy of this rather than butcher what I've got going here. If we copy this, and then from the Home tab, we format it as a table. Yeah, my table has headers. Let it do its thing. And remember, it gets worked up about that, but I'm not terribly worked up about it. We'll call this disease, maybe. That works. If I do this, and then from the Insert menu, let's do a similar chart. I've got asthma, diabetes, and hypertension. If it bothers you that the years are down here in the legend instead, I can always switch roll and column. And now I've got asthma, diabetes, and hypertension. Whoops. I just got rid of the chart title. Oh, well. Just like that. Put the chart title back more or less where it goes. And if I wanted to change asthma, diabetes, and hypertension, one thing I can do is since this is a table, it's easy for me to sort Z to A, and now I'm going hypertension, then diabetes, then asthma. That's one way to change the sort orders, put the data in a table. Another advantage of having the data you want to chart in a table. The challenge is if I want diabetes first, for whatever reason, that's my, that's my biggest issue, or that's the place I want to focus on, or my, my payers are after me for that, or whatever. What you can do, let's come back over to this chart here and drag this chart down just for a minute. So this is this data. Yep. What you can do is change the plot order. Now notice when I click inside, let me click out and click in, click inside the chart now, Excel knows where my data is and I can do my drag tricks if I were to add 2016 or if I were to add another disease, I could drag and add more chart data. The downside of the shortcut I'm going to show you now is this ability goes away when you do this. If you go to the design tab and you say, hey, I don't want to be copying and pasting my hypertension diabetes data around. I want diabetes first. You can always go to the select data window. And from here, what you can do is these up and down buttons will change your sort order. So if I want diabetes first, I could do that. Then asthma and hypertension, or I could move asthma down or up or whatever. Notice as soon as I use these arrows, I lose my chart data range here. Let me go back and show you... If we come back to select data, I've got a chart data range here and it knows what I'm doing. As soon as I click this arrow, notice how that goes away. And now I get the, the data range is too complex. I don't know what to do. Even though my data range hasn't changed, I'm still looking over here for my data. Because I sorted it, Excel doesn't know what to do. The good news is now if I click here, come here. Let's get this chart further out of the way. So you can see now I'm going diabetes and asthma and hypertension. The downside is when I click over here, in the chart, I don't get any data. I don't get any arrows around my data. I don't get any margins or borders or things I can drag and click and move around my data. I've broken that ability. So what I do is build the chart, get it as close as I could, and then do this if I had to. If I knew it was, I was going to do it long term, I'd write formulas or do something to get this in the right order. But if I need quick and dirty, hey, I need to change the order of the data in my chart and change the plot order, you can do that from select data and then from you just pick the, the one you want to move and then go up or down. That's what I want to show you in today's Excel video. Stay tuned. There are more charting tricks coming. Thanks for watching.